Oh my goodness, look at the beauty. Oh yes, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! look at that fish, oh my goodness, that's a nice, oh my goodness, wow. Sergey Bavak here, you took for a nice meal. Me and my family, we woke up early in the morning to catch some salmon. Salmon season for pinks, for silvers. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try to troll it, we're gonna try to jig it. Let's go. Okay, that's a nice fish. Silver? silver? Yeah. All right. We got a silver. First fish, it's a silver. It's a really good sign. I'm so excited. Wow. Yes. You got a fish? Fish on! Oh, it's a silver. Oh my goodness, look at the beauty. Oh yes, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! look at that fish, oh my goodness, that's a nice, oh my goodness, wow. Yes, but this is area eight. Oh boy, look at the beauty. This is about six pounder, maybe more, maybe, maybe eight. Oh, 
Oh, oh, it's the one. Are you ready? Stop the boat, stop the boat. Both, both what a beautiful morning. Very successful day today. We got six pinks and two cohos, silver salmons. One of the cohos, anywhere from eight to 10 pounds. So that's all we got for you guys today. So see you guys in our kitchen. Good morning everyone, Sergi Babic here. So today I'm gonna fillet the fish that we cut yesterday, two coho silver salmons. We gonna make sashimi out of it. We opened up their bellies and got them yesterday. Today they were iced up in a cooler and I just gonna fillet them. As you can tell, this is hatchery, there is no fin and this is wild. And in area A2, you can retain either hatchery or wild. I'll remove the head with the fins and use the neck with the fins for, for something else. And like I always do, rest my knife on a carcass right there and do the same thing. Let the knife do the work. Just glide it along the carcass all the way to the back. Easy, beautiful meat. You can tell right away, this is coho. The redness of the meat explains everything. Now we're gonna clean up or fillet a little bit. A little bit of a dorsal fin left right there. And I'm just gonna... And remove the rib cage. Since we're gonna use the fillets for sashimi, we're gonna cut out or cut off the bellies. And now we're gonna remove the pin bones, just push them opposite the grain with the thumb to lift them up a little bit so you can see them. Just like that. And just plunk them out. Like that, start with the ones on the end all right we got all of our pin bones removed and it's time to remove the skin so i'm just gonna cut all the way to the skin i'm gonna try to use the bigger knife Press it down and a lot of pulling action, just like that. Our skin is off. Look at that. Just a little bit left right there. And we're gonna just get rid of that little piece right there, and it's good. Good to go. I'm gonna finish filleting my second fish and see you guys in our kitchen when this fish ready to be prepared for sashimi. Good morning everyone, welcome to our kitchen. So today we're gonna be making sashimi from the fresh salmon that we cut in a day. It's a coho salmon. Most of the experts, they make sashimi from farm salmon because of the parasites. There is a special feed that they feed farm salmon to have parasite free fish and when it comes to wild salmon a lot of parasites on it so you gotta follow fda guideline fish gotta be frozen for 168 hours minus 15 degrees be really careful where you buy your fish make sure you buy a fish from the trusted source fda approved after filleting the salmon i froze it for seven days minus 15 degrees and it's ready to be prepared for a meal i vacuum sealed the packages you can use saram wrap to just wrap it up and freeze it for 15 days and place the salmon on the paper towel before doing anything else i'm gonna pet dry our fish make sure we have less moisture as possible on it 
I can add a little bit of a salt to our filet to firm it up the meat a little bit. Uh, it's not necessary to add the salt. I do it because I like the taste of it. Add the salt from, from the air from high up so you don't over salt it just a little bit. Just like that. Then I'm gonna place our fish in the refrigerator for about one hour and a half. All of that salt that we put on, it's already penetrated on inside. You can see a little bit of a moisture. I can remove the paper towel and it's good to go. Like that and like that like two different muscles. Uh, the grains go this way, and on this one, grain, grains go that way. So I'm gonna separate it from here. Dark meat, I'm gonna try to remove that. Remove the dark meat. Just like that. Okay. sashimi ready to be consumed now i'm gonna make a little bit of a dipping sauce i'm gonna start with wasabi right there and gonna add some of this less sodium soy sauce less sodium it's not as salty as regular soy sauce i'm gonna add our soy sauce just like that I'm gonna add some of this toasted sesame seed oil for the flavor, just a little bit. Ooh, that's more than a little bit. Just like that. There we go. And a little bit of a sriracha on the side, just like that. I'm gonna add some of this rice seasoning. Just a tiny bit. A little bit of a chives. Moments of truth, let's try it. I'm gonna start with this piece right actually. Uh, yeah, this piece right here some of that wasabi and soy sauce Ooh. Mm. wow this is really good mm. better than any restaurant. A little bit of a sriracha. Little bit of a, mm, little bit of a spicy kick with sriracha. It's really good, wow. This is so good. This is it guys. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for Nice Meal. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you don't miss anything out. Thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. See you guys on the next one.